Alrighty. Time for another one of those flash game playthroughs. Which is where I decided to be on the Newgrounds website, as you can see here. Dead Frontier Outbreak, made by Jagged Blade Software. So I usually took me a while because normally when I record flash games, it usually I have to like move the screen around a bit. But let's see. And there you go. Dead Frontier Outbreak. So this is one of those uh, games where it's not really uh, visual novelty-like, per se. Hopefully the volume is uh, good enough as is. Probably have to turn it down a bit up notch. There we go. I mean, who fucking knows? But yeah, I think back then, it was like 2010, 2011-ish, where I used to play the uh, the MMORPG back in the day and then, until I got a bit bored. And I think they moved on to making like a second Dead Frontier, like a few to several years later. I gave it a try. Didn't really have much time to play it, but oh well. So, it's like one of those choose your own adventure esque type of thing at the time. You know, you gotta really, uh, you know, put your sort of logic behind all this. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully you guys can hear me well. Hopefully, yeah. The mic audio. Let's start this. It started as a normal day, just like any other. I took a shower and grabbed a quick cup of coffee before heading out of the front door and waving goodbye to my loving wife. I jumped on board the bus, sat down, turned on my MP3 player, and promptly entered my usual daydream state. <laughs> I finally arrived at my office building, headed up the 10th floor, and sat down at my desk to see a huge pile of paperwork. I sighed and got started. But yeah, the thing is, like, I had hardware acceleration turned off. So, I think it's starting to, uh, you know, mess with the, uh, flash game of the sort. I mean, normally, I guess, using, using, like, display crap or some shit like that could possibly work. But, we'll see. Actually, maybe we might try that next time for hardware acceleration. But hold on, maybe I can actually fix this. A few moments later. Alright, and we're back. I guess it only works... Like I guess hard when you have hardware acceleration on, I just put in like display capture, so... We will see. But aside from all this, you know... You know, the you st it's one of those moments where you know what would what you would do what should you do, um, or what do you want to start on within your normal day? Other than, you know, starting off uh, on your office job. Although the MP three player thing, I always thought Is it copyrighted to say to to say I to say an iPod player at the time? Because back in the day back it's either like an mp3 player that plays like a you put a cd in i think in the old days it's like ca cassette tapes or some shit or boombox or whatever or nowadays it's like you know ipod players like it's pretty small and convenient that way so you can do that i guess the scream coming from down the hall broke my concentration i considered going to see what it was but the thought quickly passed Probably just another hysterical secretary overreacting to a spider. Just as I started oh, getting back to I'm work, sure there is a big ass bug inside the I building. Out the window into no the biggie. Below, and to my astonishment, saw a scene of utter chaos. People fighting, even killing each other for seemingly no reason. By this time, some of my coworkers had gotten up from their desks and joined me in staring out the window. So you either don't give a shit and just grab coffee and do your do the usual same thing and the same thing with the just continue work as usual. You do the TV, or the radio. Well, for me, I'm not usually the social kind of person. 
when it comes to dealing with stuff like that, so I might as well just put on my earbuds and listen to the radio and see what's going on. The radio began blurting out all kinds of information. It said that a new breed of virus had been discovered, one that would change its victims into a homicidal maniac. This virus was highly contagious and spreading rapidly. Their advice was to stay where I was, and that if I were to encounter an infected person, I should try to destroy their brain. Well, ain't that something. I mean... <laughs> the world will- I mean, the world will be fucked if they don't know the logic when it comes to this, but... I don't think there will be any sort of possibility that a zombie apocalypse could happen. I mean... Certain- Certain worlds couldn't ha can handle the situation during COVID, so... I wouldn't be surprised if they couldn't handle the fucking uh the yeah, virus apocalypse of the sort. But yeah, homicidal maniac. I'm pretty sure if you click on the TV option, you can uh the only you only get, you know, like certain buzzwords that you kinda understand because of all that huge commotion going on. At this point I felt myself entering a state of mild shock. It was obvious that whatever was going on was serious and that a significant percentage of the population were going to be killed or wounded over the course of the next few days. My thoughts quickly turned to my wife. Was she okay? What if these maniacs were near our home? Do neither to stay, don't call. I mean, it used... It seems the usual thing to see you just pull out your phone and call... And Call in concern, but I mean, you might as well just just get the fuck out of the building. It was like, fuck this, I'm gonna see what's going on. I knew that the phone lines would most likely be overwhelmed, so I decided not to waste time by calling. I headed straight home. <laughs> 5G is taking its toll. I began to make my way through a series of corridors that lead to the elevator. On my way, I noticed a struggle out of the corner of my eye. I turned to see a disfigured man frantically clawing at and biting a young woman's leg. Oh, Blood shit. Blood was already pouring from her multiple wounds. The woman cried out for me to help her. Hmm. Gee, I wonder. I mean, there is no weapon. I'm pretty sure there is no, like, blunt weapon in the building to even have. Like, you know, attack, attack a mania. Hmm. I mean, I mean, obviously, according to the di last dialogue, the, the phone line's already been like overwhelmed, so it's pointless to call call the police. Leave the phone. I mean, I guess you can be gen genuine and generous and call for help. I guess. I began to look for somebody to help, but all of my fellow coworkers seemed to be far more interested in saving their own skins. By the time I returned to the office. Both the crazed man and the wounded woman had gone. I decided to continue to the elevator. It's like, well, shit. They disappeared. I arrived at the elevator, but to my dismay, it seemed many other people had the same idea. I heard a ping and the elevator doors slid open. In a split second, the large crowd of office staff pushed and shoved their way into the tiny metal box. Well, waiting for another elevator is pointless because you're just buying yourself time and then you get fucked over later. Don't click jump out of the window because you're in the office building. It's pretty obvious that you. <laughs> I mean, imagine, imagine trying to jump out not knowing that you're in a very high, you're in a very high height of a, of a several floor building. Unless you can survive by a small percentage of miracle, there's no way. And, and squeezing the elevator is like a, you know there's a, there's a slight chance someone you're gonna get fucked. <laughs> what if what if you, what if someone is waiting? What if the uh, a swarm or waiting the, uh, down at the at the bottom of the bottom of the floor to be like surprised, motherfucker? But, uh, I quickly made my way down the stairs to the ground floor. Sure, I was a little out of breath, but at least I saved time and avoided a potentially lethal situation. 
Yeah, it reminds, reminds me of the time when I was, uh... <laughs> when I was uh, visiting my, my relatives over at a, at a condo building, and <laughs> I took the challenge of, like, taking the stairs, but, but because, like, you know, the relative's floor is, like, way, really high up. Not really as far, like, at the highest floor, but it's, like, you know, maybe, like, around 10 floors and such it's pretty hot yeah i mean i guess it's one way if you want to get some exercise you're going to be sit there and be bored with your relatives but other than that you know. i eventually reached the ground floor and entered the lobby the scene in front of me was one of extreme violence the security team was desperately battling with a swarm of infected and they appeared to be losing I watched helplessly Why am I not surprised? on the opposite side of the room was torn limb from limb. I noticed his gun lying on the floor just a few meters away from his dismembered corpse. Hmm. So you either try to get the gun, dash for the exit, or you leave the lobby. Well, there's going to be stuff near the main exit anyway. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could try to get. I mean, I mean, this is a game over anyway. Because see, let's see what happens. I managed to dodge several zombies, but just as soon as I got close to the gun, I slipped on a pool of blood. I stumbled directly into the group of infected. <laughs> I don't know why. How? I tried to escape their grip, but it was hopeless. Like, I don't know why the game over session looks like a fucking. A dead body where he like fell off of a high story building. But sure, I guess. The radio. Okay, already. Got the radio. Don't call. Uh. I mean, might as well do that. Take the stairs because that's the logical way to do so. You know, might as well find another exit. I managed to slip away without any infected noticing and proceed. I don't know how you would slip on a puddle. I don't, I don't. I don't think I ever slip on one, but ever. I mean, unless like, unless you're, unless the friction of the floor is extremely slippery enough to where like, it's possible. Actually, nah. I don't think I ever. I probably slipped that once, but that's. It's it's rare. But I didn't like, you know, fell on my own fucking ass, and, and then oh, I'm fucked. You know? I made my way through several corridors towards the back of the building. As I approached the rear entrance, I spotted a hefty padlock across the bolt, making it practically impossible to open without a key. I cursed my bad luck and tried to figure out my next move. The janitor would have had the key, but reaching his office would have required going back towards the lobby. It's like, oh, ain't that some shit? Uh, I mean, you could go go back and get the key, but you know, try, imagine trying to break down the door when it's already locked. I mean, I could click on these wrong options. I'm, I mean, not really wrong, but I could click on these. But it's a possibility that it could be the yeah, ga a game over session as well. I mean, I'm telling you right now, like, I'd rather, like, shave down time rather than, like, you know, stall up time while, while I'm recording. I mean, unless I'm doing it, like, on a live stream, like, this this is not, like, a visual novel where you just click, you know, manually save and go back and, you know, see the wrong option, you know, get what I mean? So, let's search for a window. I realized that breaking the door down would be impossible and that heading back would be too dangerous. So I set about searching for another exit. Oops. Might as well find another way. I remembered that there was a small window in the male bathroom just a few doors down the corridor. I arrived at the bathroom door and pushed it open. Suddenly, I heard a bestial roar coming from further down the corridor. A dozen infected had spotted me and were now heading in my direction. I quickly entered the stall and spotted the window I was thinking of. However, to my dismay, it was much smaller than I had remembered. I thought that I would probably fit, but I knew it was going to be a very tricky maneuver. 
bathroom door. He's being. I don't know. The, the it's the dialogue seems really vague when it when it comes like bathroom door. Like, is it a is it one of those doors where like it doesn't have a lock and where you can just like push the door and like on the outside and hold the door and, it, and when you're in the bathroom you can hold the door open that type of bathroom or is it one of those bathrooms where like you can okay it's a public bathroom and it's obvious like it's you know every anyone can walk through like and you don't get any sense of privacy so uh hiding there it's, I mean zombies have a sense of smell I mean yeah they're mindlessly stupid but they know how to smell your tracks so. unless the bathroom door has a lock on it to where unless you can find a way to barricade it so flooding is <laughs> I mean, you could try the home alone thing, but sure, I guess. I grabbed a bundle of paper towels and began blocking the sinks. I turned on the taps and watched as water spilled all over the floor, creating a slick surface. Hearing the zombies approach, I immediately ran towards the window and began trying to squeeze through. The infected burst into the room and began to slip. However, this only seemed to buy me a few seconds, much less time than it took for me to actually flood the room. As I frantically tried to push through the window, one of them grabbed me and sunk his teeth into my leg. I managed to get free and escape into the street, but it was already too late. I was infected. I mean, you could possibly escape. I mean, your his mistake there is that he just stood he just stood there and watched the water like flood. Uh I don't understand logic anymore. Uh, don't call. I begin. Find someone for help. I arrived at. Uh, do, do, do. uh take the stairs. Find another exit. See, that's the thing, right? Like, that's that's what happens when you make mistakes in games like this. You have to like go through the the dialogue path process. Okay, we just might as well go to the window straight away then. to waste time. I set about trying to squeeze through the window. A few awkward movements and a lot of pain later, I managed to force my way into the street. A lot of pain later. Infected with only a few seconds to spare. Well, few seconds to spare. It, see, it said you only buy a few seconds, but only you just you know. I dropped from the window and landed on the pavement with a heavy thud. Looking Oof. up and down the quiet back street, I tried to decide what to do next. Eventually, I came to the conclusion that my best bet was to head to a main road and try to steal a vehicle or catch a lift. I jogged down the quiet street for a few hundred feet before stopping to catch my breath. I looked up briefly and saw a little girl wandering aimlessly in the middle of the road. If it's walk, if it's wandering aimlessly, then no. Uh, you you obviously know your answer. So. And I'm pretty sure if people don't. And I'm pretty sure people don't. People don't believe me as is, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure people. There are multiple uh, people that LP this, so. I walked up to the girl and tapped her on the shoulder to get her attention. She suddenly spun around, let out a ghastly scream, and vomited blood into my face. Some of it got into my eye. It wasn't long before I contracted the virus and became one of them. Yeah, ain't that great, right? I dropped from the window. Uh, ignore her. I realized that the girl was most likely infected, See? <laughs> and therefore I decided to ignore her and continue down. I'm pretty the sure in the zombie apocalypse, you can only trust only yourself and family or friends. That's all that matters. <laughs> Uh, God. I eventually arrived at the main road. As I suspected, the scene wasn't pretty. 
In every direction, I could see people either trying to fight or flee from the numerous infected. An array of dismembered corpses already littered the streets. I suddenly felt nauseous, and within a few moments, I was vomiting my breakfast all over the pavement. I wiped well, that my sounds mouth with my sleeve and looked up to see a bus driving down the street. The question is, what breakfast did you have? The number was the same as the one I usually took home. There appeared to be a lot of people on board already, but I thought I might be able to squeeze in. I mean, back in the day for me, my, my breakfast either like some toast, just a generic toast. It's either a sugary cereal and coffee. Because I don't know. I normally I drink like you know cereal and co milk and milk, but nowadays it's like I'll just drink coffee and cereal or you know. Just a simple ass muffin. I don't usually eat. I don't. I usually take. You know. I used to take. I used to take huge portions of breakfast though. But. I don't eat as much. I don't. You know. Eat big as often. A lot of people think like. You know. They look at breakfast. And be like. Oh. You know. Breakfast is just some market to marketing scheme. To make you wake up. And, but. You know. People can. You know. Interpret it this way. It's more like I rather like eat and not regret this like a few to several hours later. Usually for me, it's like two meals and a snack a day. Two meals and two snacks. A day. Snacking actually, is, although snacking is like I is a huge habit on my part. So right here, we got to the part where the. There's the bus, and it's the same bus number that you take from like ho from home to work and back. So it's either you try to hitchhike, you try to flag. Hmm. Gee, I wonder. I know if you go on the bus, there's a chance you're gonna get fucked over late as well. Let's, <laughs> you know. I know. I know this is a game, but. But let's do something stupid. I ran into the middle of the road and began signaling the bus to stop. However, the driver apparently suspected me of being infected and actually began to speed up. I barely managed to dive out of the way as the bus hurtled down the street. <laughs> oh, I thought there was I thought it was going to be a game over. But uh I guess the, the protagonist is smart enough to like like fucking get the fuck out of the way. But yeah, no. No matter what you do, or trying to like, you know, prevent the, you know, the driver to stop, you're gonna get. There's a high chance you're gonna get run over. As I continued down the street, I noticed several groups of people. Just across the road was a group of men with rifles. They appeared to be having fun shooting the zombies rather than trying to escape. In the alley, I could just about see a group of teenage boys armed with a variety of makeshift melee weapons. A few meters from where I was standing, a paramedic and an armed police officer were helping a wounded man, and as I glanced over my shoulder, I saw a group of survivors from my office building, heading in the same direction. I decided mm. that it was probably best to team up with other survivors. I don't know. I mean, can you trust your own gut? I mean, I, I couldn't trust the dude with guns because, you know... What if I walked up to them and they'll already shoot my ass? Then, you know. Who, know, who, who fucking knows, bro? Teenagers are shitty. Can be shitty people sometimes. I don't know about the wounded man part. He could be infected. I, I don't think I've ever. I remember playing this back, back over a, like a decade ago. And I, ne I don't think I ever chose the paramedic, paramedic and police officer part. At least joining co-workers does make sense. Because if anything, you know, you at least, like, you know them. You, can, you know them enough to where, like, you rather, like, you know, tr you somewhat trust them, I guess. I jogged over to the group of my fellow co-workers. They seemed happy to see me. They seem to have to see me. Hey, guys. This group is probably the best choice. None of them are injured. And since they know... 
they know you, they are much less likely to leave you behind in a sticky situation. I, I don't know, dude. I mean, like I said. I told the group that I thought we should try to find some transportation to get out of the city center. One of them suggested we go to the parking area a few blocks down. We quickly agreed to our strategy and made our way down the street. As we approached the car parking area, we noticed a few infected wandering idly around the entrance. There was no real way to avoid them. Run past them, fighting them as a group? <laughs> yeah, f fight them as a group. I mean... I mean, unless y'all got fucking weapons. <laughs> unless y'all can find... Like, I don't know, it's not, I don't think you can pick up a large rock and, be, and do, just do that, because, you know, so pulling a rock is, requires you, you know, rip it with your hand, with your, into a fist. So, running past it. <laughs> See, these two choices of convince, and if you convince the other, or distract them in a way as, make, which only you're risking yourself doing so, so. Let's do that, I guess. I began making as much noise as I could, running in circles around the infected. My plan worked, and they began yeah, to follow Yeah, come at me, you bitch. Entrance. The others swiftly entered the parking area and began searching for a suitable vehicle. I was glad they had made it inside, but I was still in serious danger. I eventually managed to lose the infected and quickly caught up with the others. But I promised myself I'd never volunteer to be bait again. Hey, uh, yeah, I know this is the right idea for you, for y'all, but I am not doing this shit ever again. Fuck you. <laughs> we eventually found a few different options for vehicles in which we could make our escape. On the far side of the parking area, we found a pair of road motorbikes. Closer to us was a four-wheel drive all-terrain jeep, a large freight truck, and a convertible sports car. Motorbikes. I don't know about the sports car. I've, I've, I mean, I've seen sports cars where like you can fit like four people in there. The freight freight truck is pretty slow. What? The motorbikes, you're gonna get fucking. It makes it more easier. To be. You're gonna get carjacked, and zombies gonna pull you down. Might as well do the jeep. others quickly agreed. Having the ability to go off-road if necessary would be incredibly useful, especially since many roads would have been blocked with traffic, accidents, or zombies. Yeah, they quickly agreed. We approached the jeep and peered inside. To our dismay, we saw a pair of infected inside, desperately clawing at the windows in an attempt to escape. All right, this the first choice is the first choice is really stupid, but they 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 say pull the zombies from the jeep, but they didn't. Ever, but you would think that you could have just you know opened the door and let the zombies you know you know l let them cut come to you, right? And they like you would you would think that, but no, like you're gonna use your fucking you're gonna pull them. Like actually, like, like as a, as like a like a carjacking tactic. We opened the doors, reached inside the jeep, and tried to pull the infected from the vehicle. As I dragged the rotting body onto the tarmac, I felt a sharp pain. I looked down, and to my horror, saw a blood why would you do that? <laughs> bite marks on my left forearm. I momentarily exchanged glances with the others before running as far away from them as I could. It wouldn't be long before I became a zombie. This, uh, this is genuine. This is genuinely kind of like you. You don't look. Okay, this is some. This is some spurious, zo like zombie apocalyptic logic, where you like you think you think like using a carjacking tactic to like. On a, on a against a zombie that is inside a car would work, but no, you're gonna you, you get bitten and then there you go, it's fucking game over. 
like, couldn't you, like, instead of, like, pulling the zombies out of the car, then instead, of, like, open the car door, let, you know, let them come to you? I I'm not, I mean, it's still risky, but it's, like, I'm pretty sure, like, what if the what if hypothetically these zombies, you know, they fell out of a car and they just they dropped to the ground, and then you can stomp the zombies' face in? Like, I mean, I mean, it could plan out in a certain prediction or it doesn't. <laughs> like, God, it's so dumb. I dropped from the window. I walked up to the girl. Oh, right. <laughs> I forgot that when I click it. I, when I click it twice, it's a. Uh, you don't see the dialogue, so I try it again.